Hello, Halea Priest here. Let's do the daily energy routine together, shall we? So the one thing to remember is to breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth, if you can through the entire exercise. All righty, shall we start? Let's begin with the four thumbs. We're gonna start right with those kidney meridians, kidney 27, breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth, helping to get all the meridians running the right way, get those kidney points going. Beautiful. All the meridians running forward. Good. Then thymus, nice tapping here to wake up our immune system. Let's get that going. and then spleen right at that bra line. Find those source po points and helping as we massage these, the spleen not only helps us digest food, but also the events and experiences and emotions in our lives and also helps us feel nurtured from the inside out. Good. Top of the cheek, stomach meridian which runs right from this area all the way down our body and out our second toes right down into the earth that ground us when we're grounded we're more active alive and vital beautiful shaking the hands off we'll go ahead and do the cross crawl start with one hand over a shoulder coming down to the opposite side of the body Remembering to breathe. Good. We want to cross all of our energies over in our bodies. Everything needs to cross over. And when we're not crossed over, we feel confused. We have brain fog. We can't think. We can't focus. We feel tired. Good. Brushing hands off. And then we're going to go opposite hand, opposite leg, marching in place. Breathing, good, getting that energy crossed over, beautiful, good, nice, okay, brushing hands off, I'm going to pull up a chair for Wayne Cook, we can do this standing as well, we're going to take one leg, it doesn't matter. I have my right leg. I'm going to take my right hand over onto the ball of my right foot and my left hand onto my right ankle and that bone, that ankle bone. Breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth three times. <sighs> really pulling in that life force energy. Wayne Cook helps us also to focus and think. It's also incredibly calming. I love to do this when I'm um, stressed out, even before bed. You can do it right in your own bed. Good. Now we're just going to do the other side. Remember, I have my left leg here, so left hand on left ball of foot, right hand on left ankle and ankle bone. Three times a breath. Good. One more time. Beautiful. Shaking hands off. We're going to do a crown pull. We'll have a tent our fingers, place our thumbs right at our third eyes first and taking a deep breath. Again, taking in that life force energy and releasing. Then we'll take our fingers right to our forehead, pressing in and pulling apart about an inch, remembering to breathe. And we're just going to go all the way up over our top of our head, press down and pull. This helps any kind of excess energy, thinking, whatnot that we have in our heads. Also opens us up for more inspiration. We're going to come down the back of our neck. 
and then down as far as we can down the shoulders and then pulling really giving some strength there right down the tops of our shoulders and right to our heart and with this we'll move into working on the neurolymphatic points these different points on our torso we'll just do some today help to release any blocked energy which you'll feel is pain back into the system back into the lymph to let it release so we're going to go right to those k27 points again right down below the collarbones massaging or holding and then down the intercostals on either side of the breastbone we've got long points here perfect for keeping ourselves healthy and gallbladder points to help us digest our food all the way down perfect and then down the breastbone itself right down the middle for lung points breathing remembering to breathe that's probably the most important thing here good and then we're going to cross our hands we're going to go under right at the uh, edges of those collarbones and across under the collarbones to our shoulder creases we've got stomach we've got governing we've got heart meridian all these beautiful points if you feel something sore as Donna says if they're sore massage them more all the way to the crease and then down that crease right to the bottom of the crease between our arm and our shoulder for our central meridian, if you feel super vulnerable, this is a really good spot. This will help you feel more aligned and centered. And right here at the shoulders, kidney, neurolymphatic points. Good. And then squeezing the top of the arms. These are more kidney, neurolymphatic points. And again, these will help detox. Real important. And breathing. Good, brushing hands off. We're gonna go ahead and do heaven and earth, connecting heaven and earth. We're gonna take one hand all the way up, our palm face towards the heavens, taking the inhalation. The other hand is pressed down toward the earth. So on exhalation, exhaling down to the earth. Inhaling up towards the heavens and down, exhaling to the earth. One more round, inhaling up and exhaling down. Coming into prayer position, we'll go the other side. Inhaling up, exhaling down. Make sure you feel your feet on the ground as you do this. Inhaling up, exhaling down. Another round, inhaling up, exhaling down inhaling up exhaling down other side beautiful beautiful good coming back down to prayer pose or anjali mudra and then we're going to come down folding over letting our head hang breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth three times Hmm. You don't have to come down very far if you can't. No worries. And then we're going to make figure eights all the way back up. Figure eight. All the way back up and over into our field. Beautiful. And then we're going to rub our hands together and open them up on either side of our head. Feel that energy, that prana energy. We're gonna bring our elbows together and work with a Celtic weave. Hands back and forth, good. Weaving our aura, opening up all of our healing channels all the way down to the ground, taking a breath. And then rolling our hands all the way up, all that yummy energy. And 
out into our field. Beautiful. And then the zip up, placing our hands near our root chakra, our pelvic area. You could even focus in on an affirmation or positive statement about your health or just yourself. And then hold that in your heart as we do this. We're gonna inhale and bring the energy up, going to the corners of our mouth, imagining we have keys, and on the exhalation, locking and throwing the keys away two more times. Good, this is for the central meridian, which we want to keep running up. This kind of locks it in place. This is how we feel, centered, aligned, Good, and then this last time, bringing it up all the way into our field. Good. And then the hook up, middle fingers, one in the belly button, one at the third eye. Press in and pull up, hold it there. Breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth three times. Good, this connects our central meridian up the front and our governing meridian that runs up the front that meets at the back of our throat. Those two together create this beautiful orb of energy that helps to lock in and keep all these energies moving as we retrain our whole system to function at a higher and more vital way. Hmm. Taking a moment to notice how you feel, feel feet on the ground, bringing your hands into prayer position or Anjali Mudra, feeling your gratitude, and that's it. Thank you for practicing with me, and I'll see you next time.